Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. All right guys, I'm super excited for this video. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Sam and welcome to Cruise Keto Vlogs. I'm so excited to have you here. We're gonna have so much fun on this channel. So if you would, hit that little red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to tick that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So, in today's video, we're going to be doing some cooking. Let me rephrase that. We're going to be doing some baking. And what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be baking today are keto lemon shortbread cookies. I know these are technically a springtime, a summertime treat, but I love these cookies and I felt like I should share them with you guys. And they're super easy to make and they're really, really delicious. So let's just get right on into the video, guys. Okay guys, before we get started, I'm just going to give you a rundown of everything that we've got here. And we're just going to start over here and work our way around, and then we'll get busy making these cookies. So what we've got is some stevia, almond flour, coconut flour, a half a stick of melt, uh, softened slash kind of melted Kerrygold butter that out of there we've got um, the zest of one lemon pink Himalayan salt lemon one egg vanilla I've got a one-third measuring cup my lemon zest my lemon juicer I've got a one teaspoon a tablespoon I've got my little cookie scoop here and I've got the one cup measure so let's just get right on into everything that we need to do and get these suckers in the oven. First, what we're going to do is we're going to two cups of almond flour. We're going to do two tablespoons of coconut flour. One third of a cup of stevia and a little bit of pink salt just a little bit amount and now you're just going to sift this together I'm going to add these little crumbs into a bowl because I keep these and I can sprinkle these on top of cookies or salads I just keep them in a little bowl or a little cup with a lid and I just pop this in the freezer and I will save these for toppings maybe on salads or something. Now just make sure that this is all well combined. And sifting your almond flour and your coconut flour together will just ensure a lighter, fluffier um, dough. Now what we're going to do to this we're just going to add in our lemon. I'm going to add that right in there. Now we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla, one egg, and our butter. Now you're just going to mix this around until everything is well combined. It's all right if you have bits of butter. That will just make the cookie a little bit more flaky and um, moist in the oven when the butter melts. Now we're just going to add this into our dry ingredients. Make sure you get all of that yummy, yummy goodness into that bowl. And now you're just going to mix this around until you get a dough-like consistency. Now it might take a few minutes to get there, but keep working this dough and it will come together nicely. And look how pretty that dough is. 
Now, if you're going to be making this um, the next day, you can take this dough and you can make it into a ball shape, wrap it with plastic, and put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then cook them the next morning. But we're going to cook them now. I've just got a little um, silicone liner on my sheet pan. I've had this sheet pan for years. And then now, you're just going to scoop out some dough and you're going to place those on your cookie sheet. Alright guys, I've got 20 cookies here and now what you're going to do is you're just going to take these and just kind of make them into a disc shape. Just kind of flatten them down a bit. They're very easy to work with. It's not a, it's a wet dough, but they're not sticky. Now you can also chill this dough for about 30 minutes and you can roll this dough out and make um, different designs like candy canes or Santa Claus or reindeers, whatever you like. It's a very versatile dough. Now you can make these flatter if you like that's fine you can go back in and make them flatter now these will spread slightly in the oven they're not going to make really big cookies like normal flowers will do but you can just go in and make them a little bit smaller in size just to spread them out a little bit more like that now you're going to put these in a 300 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes just until the edges start to turn a light golden brown. Then you'll take them out and let them cool. Alright guys, while the cookies are baking in the oven, um, we're just going to do a little clean up and uh, get all of this put away and tidied up.
right guys everything is cleaned up now we just got to finish waiting on the cookies and I will catch you back when they are done and we'll do a taste test all right you guys it has uh, they've been in the oven for 20 minutes I took them out and I looked I let them cool for 10 minutes they're still slightly warm um, you can see them right back there they're just going to finish cooling back there but in the meantime I've got this one little piece here. I've already tried them. They're so good. But they're slightly brown on the edges. They are, they're not crunchy, but they're not crumbly. They're right there in the middle, and they're really, really good. They're not overly sweet, and you get that really light hint of lemon. Now, if you like lemon, you can definitely add in more lemon juice and more um, lemon zest if you like. That would brighten up the flavor a little bit more. But I just kept them a light lemon taste. Mmm, they're so good. They're soft but crunchy. Not like like hard crunchy, but like cookie crunchy. They're so good. So I'm going to let those finish cooling on the stove. And then I'm just going to put them in a little box and uh, leave them out on the counter so whoever wants one is more than welcome to have one. And uh, yeah, you guys, I'm just going to call this a wraps on this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And please, please, please hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. I upload new videos every single week. I'm trying to do as many videos a week as I possibly can for you guys. For vlogmas and I'm going to try to do that after vlogmas so you guys don't miss out on any cool stuff we're gonna have a lot of fun on this channel guys so please hit that little red subscribe button I, I would love to have you join our family here at cruise keto vlogs and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys